Welcome to Borderline IT Tutorials. Today we're going to go through the installation of AutoTan on a CentOS 7 machine. Now we're going to make this installation on a VPS. Um, our VPS is running CentOS 7. Um, so uh, CentOS is installed. You could refer to a previous video to see um, how to install CentOS on a server. If we run this command, cat, it is red at release. You can see the the version of CentOS on on this machine. So it's CentOS seven point three point one six one one. Okay. So the first step we're going to take now is to make sure that the machine is up to date. So we're going to update this yum update. So, we run YUM update. Um, it needed us to you to run it as a as a user because we are not root on this machine. So we we, we run the command sudo yum update. Now it's asking us to download updates. So we say y for yes. Total download size is 77 meg. So we're running the download now. Updating the packages. 18 of 61 it says still running. Sixty one of sixty one now. So we're waiting for it. So now the update is done, complete. Our packages are updated. Next step is to install the EPL repository. So EPL is a repo, um, this repo has Odo. So we're going to install it, so it's going to be sudo yum install yepl release. Um, because we are not root, we have to use sudo. If we are root, we could just run yum install yepl release. Asks me for the password of my user. I enter the password and it starts. So it's saying um, the package if I release is already installed on the test version, so it has nothing to do now. Next step is to install PostgreSQL. Um, we're going to install PostgreSQL with some dependencies that are necessary for our install. So. Let's do this. Once again, it's going to be sudo. PostgreSQL server, font config, VPNG, libx11, and all these. So, we run it. So it starts downloading them. It says total size is 165 meg. We say yes. Download. It's 
so it's doing the process wait for it it's complete and now we're going to set up a PostgreSQL database like this so that's PostgreSQL setup initialize db init db so it tells us um, it cannot create a directory so we run it with sudo and it does that good so never forget if you're not root you have to use sudo to run your commands now we have to enable PostgreSQL and so systemctl enable PostgreSQL we're enabling it as the our user Then we want to start with GreeSQL. System CTL start with GreeSQL to start it. Okay. Now we are going to add the Udo repository next. And we can find the repo here. Um, https nightlyodo.com slash 10.0 slash rpm slash odo dot repo. So we run it. It's grabbed the file and it saved it. Now we want to update the package index. So first thing we run yum update. Everything is up to date, nothing is to update, and then we install Udo. Next step sudo yum install Udo. So, uh, total download size is 106 meg, so we say yes, go ahead, download it. I'll wait for it to complete the download. It gets to this point, uh, it says it wants to retrieve a key, it's asking us if this is okay. We say yes, and we go ahead, it continues. So that is completed. Now our next step is going to be to enable auto start on boot. And we are going to do this by running this command to the system CTL enable auto. So that should take care of it. And then to start auto, we run this. sudo systemctl start auto so that should start auto and now we can check if auto is working by running this command so we can see auto it's installed it's working So, um, we 
Now, on the default install, the master password for the database is set as admin. Um, but we want to change this. We don't want to have that default as our database password. So we are going to go to the auto config file and make the change. So you can use any text editor you want. We're going to use VI. So we say VI. Um, it's in etc folder in auto folder CNF. Um, this is creating a new folder. So we're not sure this is right. So let's let, let's go out because the config file is an already existing file. So let's 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 go to um, let's cd change directory to the etc directory. And then let's list the items in there. So we see all items. You can see Odo is there. So I'm going to change directory into Odo, and we list the items in there. So we have Odo.c and F in there. So we're going to vi Odo.config. Word sudo vi auto.config.conf. So it gives us the file. So you can see the admin password is admin. Um, it's commented. We're going to uh, comment the line that's by removing this um, colon, semicolon. And then change the password to something we want it to be. So let's do it. So for VI, we use I to put in text. We change the password to something. So let's say seven zero three two. H H W G T R. So you make your password as tough as you can. And then you save. Um, I'm saving using um, I, I I I got out of the instead of the typing mode. With escape and then I use shift and zz to save. So after making this change we can restart Odo. So this is the system sits here restart Odo. Restarts. So thank you for listening in the first part of this. We're going to continue the second part. We're going to um, visit Odo on the browser. Uh, see how it looks, um, play around with it. Um, we also do a reverse proxy configuration so you can access it without using the port 8069. Um, look forward to that soon on Borderline IT Tutorials.